Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. It's 20 years since the safety car was introduced into Formula One, and it's one of the most crucial safety elements in the sport. It comes out for two reasons. First, if debris from an accident can't be cleared and is affecting the race. Second, to slow down the racing in extremely bad weather conditions. You would automatically slow down on slippery roads for safety reasons, but sometimes we have to be told to by the safety car. The idea of a safety car was never in anyone's mind until 1973. That year, at a race in Canada, there were extremely bad weather conditions. A so-called pace car drove out on the track to prevent the drivers from serious harm. This new situation caused a massive stir because the pace car didn't pick up the leader. The race director lost track of who was in front. However, it took another 20 years for the safety car to get officially introduced. Now it's a high-performance car, mounted with stronger brakes, sports suspension, and a really powerful engine. And just like you followed the everyday rules on the road, when it's out on track, we really drive to its instructions. The safety car always affects the race, but this year the FIA introduced a change to the way it's operated. It is just one small change, but it will affect the strategy plans of the top teams significantly. In the past, the on-track order at the time the safety car came out was not allowed to change. Now, lap cars can unlap themselves during the safety car period. This change could severely affect any lead built up by a team. However, slower cars are a hazard. Just like on the road, frustration at being stuck behind a slower car can see drivers make risky decisions that lead to accidents. One thing is certain. When so much is going on around you, you really have to concentrate. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.